students, let us take a look at the summary of chapter 15, probability, a very small one, just five simple points to, for you to get started with this chapter and complete it with a lot of ease. So a little theoretical, let's take a look. So the, we learned different terms out here, the first one being experiment. So what exactly is an experiment? You must have performed various experiments in your science labs especially, but let's give a definition to it. An experiment that can produce some well-defined outcomes. So if you perform anything that is giving you well-defined outcomes, in probability especially, we take the example of coin. That's the best example I can give you. Why? Because if you're tossing a coin, that is an experiment. So what is an experiment? The procedure where you are tossing the coin and it is giving you a well-defined. So what do you mean by the term well-defined outcome? You know that when you toss a coin, you're just going to get either a head or a tail. That means you have well-defined outcomes. You won't get anything else uh, apart from head and tail. So here we know what the outcomes are going to be, heads and tails. So when you toss a coin, you, that's an experiment. And why? Because it's going to give you some outcome that is known to you, either a heads or a tail. Then moving on to event. Event is the collection of outcomes of the experiment, some outcomes of the experiment. So let's say I have performed a, uh, an experiment where I have tossed a coin and I'm going to collect head, either heads or tails. So whatever value you're collecting, that is going to be an event. So if you say I'm going to take a, make a count of heads, then your event will be heads. If you're going to take a count of tails, then your event is going to be tails. So it's nothing but an outcome that you select from an experiment that is performed. Now moving on with empirical probability, it's denoted by PE. This variable inside E can vary, why? Because it's for event E. So if you say empirical probability of some event F, then you can replace this E with F, so it will look like PF. But usually we take it as PE, okay? So empirical probability for event E is a fraction of the number of trials in which E happened divided by the total number of trials. So with an example, let's say you're tossing a coin five times, okay? And the number of times you got heads heads appeared was three. So the empirical probability for heads, so I'm going to say P head, is going to be number of heads appeared, number of times that heads appeared divided by the total number of times that the coin was to tossed. So I'm going to mark this as two and this as one. It is going to be two divided by one, which is going to be equal to three divided by five. So two divided by one means equation two divided by equation one. So I hope you got a clearer picture when I gave explain empirical probability with an example. Now trial is nothing but the act of performing a random experiment. Because you may not always toss a coin, sometimes you would like to just throw a dice and the outputs that you would get is uh, would range from 1 to 6. So here again, you're performing an experiment with well-defined outcomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. Okay? And let's see the value of 3 upon 5. It's going to be 5 ones are 5, 5 zeros are 5, 6 are 30, 0 0.6. So please note that the probability of an event will always lie between 0 and 1. It will be greater than 0 and less than 1, okay? This is an example of the same. And the sum of the probabilities of all the events performed for an experiment will always be 1. It will never be greater than 1. So this was about the summary. Please take a look and take down a note. Thank you for watching this video. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win ePartshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.